As you know, every month we do a segment with MSD, and of course they have done a fantastic job of keeping us aware of uh, different things that are happening that can affect our daily lives. It's no surprise to me the extra steps that they've gone through uh, in regards to what we're dealing with now socially with the COVID-19 pandemic. You are correct. And because of that, instead of us being there with Tony Parrott, mm -hmm. hey, Tony, how are you? We're going to him virtually today. So, Tony, uh, welcome. Good to see you again, at least virtually. So tell us what's going on and how are you personally handling uh, what's happening out there with the COVID-19? Well, Max, as you know, uh, COVID-19 uh, is an unprecedented uh, matter that uh, all of us are dealing with, not only at MSD, but uh, in our entire community, in our entire country. Uh, it is uh, really something that has required us to really take a, a pause and figure out, you know, how we can do things uh, differently, uh, first and foremost. Uh, to make sure that we're not only protecting um, our employees, but protecting uh, the community that we all w live, work, and play in. And uh, it is something that uh, I think is going to probably impact us for several uh, months going forward and probably change the way we do business going forward. Tony, I'm glad you're being safe. Now, you know, another question is, during these kind of emergencies, the general public is always concerned. They want to know, are, are things going to change in relationship to their service, just how things are going to continue to function? Can you help us with that? Well, you know, uh, COVID-19, as I mentioned, is something that's causing us to uh, look at how we provide services uh, to the community. Um, and, you know, first and foremost, we want to make sure that we're protecting the workers in our workplace. Uh, MSD is a essential business uh, that must respond and uh, provide uh, wastewater, stormwater, and flood protection services to the community. Uh, so first and foremost, we're, we're trying to uh, make sure that we're protecting our employees. And then secondly, taking a look at uh, those services that are vital to the communities that we serve and uh, I can tell you that uh, we are committed uh, to continue uh, providing services. Uh, there are gonna be probably some changes during the interim. Uh, for example, uh, we are limiting uh, the amount of uh, customer interface uh, we have uh, at our main office for permits and those type of things. Uh, but for those uh, that are calling us with issues such as sewer backups or blockages, uh, those type of things, we must respond and we will. Uh, but as we go forward, it's hard to predict how long this thing will stretch out. So we'll be uh, monitoring it daily and weekly and uh, try to keep the major assets that we're responsible for working for the community. Tony, something else that we're curious about is what type of feedback are you hearing from the general public as it relates to your response to the pandemic? Well, I think uh, the general public uh, is uh, uh, probably not seeing much of a difference uh, in the services that we provide. Um, and, uh, you know, we uh, get a lot of calls about uh, uh, the status of their bills and whether or not there's going to be turnoffs or uh, new late fees assessed uh, for those folks that are laid off and can't pay their utility bill. Uh, you know, one of the things we've told our customers is uh, there will be no uh, turnoffs of services during this pandemic, and uh, there will be no late new late fees assessed to their accounts and uh, try to give them advice on how they can tap uh, some programs that we have in place to help them pay their bill, whether it be our senior citizen discount program uh, for wastewater bills or through the uh, uh, Community Ministries uh, Association, uh, which is a group we donate to via the Louisville Water Foundation uh, to help those folks that are uh, experiencing hardships uh, in paying their bill. So uh, for that information, folks can contact us and we can make sure that they uh, are 
put in touch with the right person. That's great information. And based on everything that you said, it seems like that we've just got to be prepared to face things a little bit differently. So what's MSD's plan as it relates to the future? Well, you know, it's uh, something that we're evaluating uh, day by day and week by week. Uh, we're actually learning some things, hopefully, about ourselves that uh, we can be more uh, uh, nimble and more flexible uh, and more virtual. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we're doing a lot of telework, which means a lot of the meetings that we're having are either through uh, teleconferencing or uh, Zoom or uh, some of the uh, other video conferencing apps that are out there. Uh, we're having a, our board meeting, for example, last week was a, a virtual board meeting. Uh, all of our internal meetings are uh, either through telework or teleconferencing, video conferencing, uh, and we're doing everything we can to uh, practice the social distancing that is necessary to fight COVID-19. Uh, as we go forward, uh, there may be practices, particularly with some of the electronic uh, things that we're doing uh, and being able to serve the customers uh, particularly with uh, things that normally would be handled uh, through paperwork and those type of things. We're learning that we can do things by uh, electronic uh, signature and other stuff that will enhance our ability to provide service to the customers in the future. Tony, I have to admit, I never thought we would be at the point where we'd be so concerned about uh, loss of toilet paper or paper tiles or any other kind of paper products. So uh, is there any concern from you all in on paper products and what we should be doing? Well, one of the things that we've always practiced is that we encourage people to flush uh, the three P's, and that would be pee, poo, and paper. Uh, and, in, and in this instance, it would be toilet paper. Uh, and we strongly encourage folks not to flush uh, wipes, uh, baby wipes, uh, the things that say they're flushable wipes, uh, paper towels, all those type of things really can wreak havoc on the internal plumbing of the customer's home uh, and uh, will necessitate them calling MSD or having to expend a lot of money uh, with a private plumber to fix problems on private properties. So we encourage folks that do not flush paper towels, do not flush flushable wipes, and do not flush baby wipes, et cetera, because it will uh, come back to haunt you. Well, Tony, as always, it's great spending time with you. And this is that time we would normally be shaking hands. But uh, since you're virtual, you're there and I'm here, we have to do the first virtual Urban Lifestyles fist bump. So take care and thanks for joining us on Urban Lifestyles. All right, Max, thank you for having us again on Urban Lifestyles and to the community. Uh, just know that MSD is here and uh, we are working and we will uh, make sure that we provide this vital services to the community. So until then, everyone keep the faith, be safe, and uh, let's practice social distancing uh, and let's fight and win COVID-19. We'll take another break and back with more right after this.